Do you want to be a servant of the merciful? Well, if so, we make this dua. رَبَّنَا صْرِفْ عَنَّا عَذَابَ جَهَنَّمْ إِنَّا عَذَابَهَا كَانَ غَرَامًا إِنَّهَا سَاءَتْ مُسْتَقَرًّا وَمُقَامًا Oh Allah, protect us from the punishment of the hellfire. Verily, that punishment is something which is continuous, and the hellfire, it is the worst place, it is the worst abode that we can be in. You know, when we talk about the hellfire, sometimes uh, we get scared. Like, oh no, don't talk about that. Well, not talking about it is not going to make it any less of a reality. It's not going to make it go away. And it's not going to allow us to take steps to protect ourselves from that hellfire. The hellfire is serious. The Prophet ﷺ described a man who will be in the hellfire in, in, in Sahih Bukhari and Muslim. And he has two coals under his feet. And those coals are warm and they're boiling his brain. And he will think that this is the worst punishment in hell. And reality is, it is the lightest punishment in the hellfire. And the Prophet ﷺ told us this, why? So that we live a life that does not lead us to that direction. So intense is the hellfire. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, كُلَّمَا نَضِجَتْ جُلُودُهُمْ بَدَّلْنَاهُمْ جُلُودًا غَيْرَهَا that the skins will come and be roasted and they will be replaced with another skin to be roasted again. And that's why we're seeking refuge from the punishment because the punishment is continuous. So this is serious. So how do we protect ourselves from it? One of the things that leads us off the path, the straight path, and leads us towards the hellfire is becoming too enwrapped and engrossed in the dunya. It's becoming too caught up in this worldly life to a point that we don't understand what our ultimate purpose is and where we are heading. There's a, pr a process or a concept known as zuhud. Now zuhud, you may have heard it translated in different ways. Zuhud doesn't mean you don't own anything. Zuhud means that nothing owns you. So we can have material things, but it does not own us. And so the first question we have to ask ourselves if we're serious is are we willing to make some of the sacrifices in the dunya to protect ourselves from the hellfire? Because in the time of the Prophet ﷺ, there were people that saw him. They saw his blessed face, but they did not want to give up their worldly possessions. And there are people like that now that they don't want to make any sacrifices. Are we willing to do that? That is the first step and the most important question to ask ourselves. What else can we do? Well, who do we surround ourselves with? Show me who your friends are, and I'll show you who you are. The Prophet ﷺ told us, al mar'u ala dini khalili, that a person is literally on the path or the way of their best friend. So be careful who you take as your best friend. Do our friends do anything for us which is productive? Are they reminding us of Allah or diverting us further away. Another thing we can do is to downsize or downgrade. You know, we don't always have to have the latest and best and brightest of every single thing, or we can wait a week to get it. There was someone, a very wealthy man, he said, it was very interesting that when I came to the mall and I, and I could afford everything in the store, I realized I didn't want it anymore. That desire wasn't there. Now, we don't need to wait as believers to be millionaires to understand that that may never happen. But we can still understand through the beautiful teachings of our religion, the place of the dunya in this world and how to live in a balanced way. And we also reflect and ask ourselves, is the material possessions that we have defining who we are? Are we quick to brag about our kids or show off our cars or drop you know, uh, the latest accomplishments we've had at our work or what we're doing or how successful, et cetera, et cetera. Does that define who we are? If it defines who we are, then that's leading us off the straight path. When we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the best in this life and the next life, we are not asking to be miserable here. Quite the contrary. When you have a strong connection with Allah, life here will be wonderful. But what we're asking also is to stay 
on the path which will protect us from the hellfire and lead us to our ultimate destination, inshallah, of Jannah.